Hello and welcome, I'm Raziel and at the start of the week I did a video saying DEI is not the verb problem and apparently some autistics just went mental on this on the right hand side. Again, I said it wasn't the problem, I never said it wasn't a problem because apparently people don't like listening to next sentences. So the point is, I'm not saying DEI is a good thing, I really don't. Uh, when it comes to, you know, having homosexuals, people, you know, black people, white people, whatever in a story, that is, I have no issues with that. It doesn't bother me either way. I'm not happy about it. I'm not sad about it. I, it just is. To me, it's always going to be whether or not the quality of a product is good. That will always be my, my point of view. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And people say, well, quality is subjective. No, 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 no. Sub Quality is also very, very objective. You can look at something and say, yes, that is bad. You can read a book and go, yep, that's, a, that's an awful book. You know, watch a bad movie. And you can instinctively know that it's bad, it's not made well, and it's just horrid, horrid quality. However, does that mean you can't enjoy it? No. Just because something is bad, objectively bad, and you know, it's just horrid and rotten quality, doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. That part, what we get enjoyment from, is completely subjective. Whether or not something is good or bad can be objective and subjective, but saying it is purely subjective is poorly. Anyway, to the point of our hand and DEI and my issues with it, it actually kind of isn't just DEI in general, and it stems back to the creation of Disney. And the thing is with the creation of Disney, it kind of symbolic with my issue with DEI. And let me explain. And if I was to say who created Mickey Mouse, everyone on their, on their dog will shout on Walt Disney. It was Ub Iwerks? I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it was someone completely different. Walt Disney was a businessman and he was a damn good one. Uh, the other guy, yeah, he wasn't so good at business. He was creative, but he wasn't very good at business. Now, Disney obviously took off, and unfortunately, the creator of Mickey Mouse never got to make his name, but Disney got sort of, you know, titled with the creation of it when it wasn't him. Anyway, so this, this is where we get the point. DEI is this bureaucratic business way of taking control of people's creations. I am in the camp that anyone who creates anything should be allowed to create that. And so when DEI comes into play and they've been told that they have to add something which, you know, doesn't fit with the original creation or the creator doesn't just want doesn't want to add it at all, then that's where my issue comes in. The same with these sensitivity readers. Uh, this is just one of the worst jobs. If you're a sensitivity reader, uh, quit your job and get a job at McDonald's. At least you'll be serving people food and you'll actually be doing something with your life rather than ruining other people's. Sensitivity readers are the worst job in the world and I hate the idea of them. I don't hate the people doing them because I don't know them, but the idea of a sensitivity reader is to me abhorrent because they take people's books and works and go, and then they have to go whether or not people are offended. I don't get like, if someone gets offended by your work, good. You're challenging people, you're getting people to think and actually uh, try and get a different point of view other than stuff that they feel is comfortable with. All literature or anything should at least offend in some way or other. And there isn't any good artwork, good movie or anything like that which is, cannot be deemed offensive in one way or another. When things start getting a bit softer and you know people aren't getting offended, you understand how quality goes lower because it's just not challenging. And I honestly can't think of any decent book, movie, comic which isn't in some way offensive. It could be horror, it could be full of guts, gore, violence, it could talk about the church, and anything. In some way, you'll find something offensive in any good me form of media and that's the way it should be. DEI and sensitivity readers are the sort of people that don't want others to get offended. 
So they are sterilizing media for no reason at all. And when you, a creator creates something and they are having to change it, and yes, the DEI people do change it, whole sentences, their characters, they do so much altering, it's absolutely disgusting. You know? And the other thing I was thinking about, because I obviously play a lot of video games, I do. And I play a lot of shooters, RPGs, you know, I play all sorts of genres. And this is when it sort of started to get into my head. And same with comics. If you read the older comics, it kind of sexuality, romance, and same with video games as well, you can look at this, don't really play a part. Same with wargaming. Sexuality doesn't really play a part, but with 40k, I'll get to that in a second. Because it's irrelevant to the story and setting. Yes, people have sex. It happens. It's a natural part of human life, of, of, of all, all organisms to reproduce. And if you look at the only ones originally 40k did at reproduction, it was boring. Orcs are from mushrooms. They don't bang each other. Well, they do with big metal clubs, but you know what I mean. And Tyranids basically just kind of mutate a human. So it has to go through a human host to mutate into a gene stealer. And when it does, you've also got the asexual reproduction of the Tyranids themselves and how they reproduce en masse. As you can see, both really, really boring. And when it does did come to actual sexuality in 40k, and why no one on the left ever picks this up and is highly offended by it, sex is usually considered a bad thing. You have Sinesh and the Dark Elder, or the Drukari, whichever you want to use. And they're the most hypersexed in the entire game. And it's very much an indication that in the 40k universe, sex is not a good thing, especially sex for pleasure. And no one picks up on that because they don't want to be offended, or they don't want to actually realize something. But the thing is, sexuality doesn't really play a part. Even in your favourite video games, in the most, in the best video games you can think of, sex and sexuality do not make a play. And if you play any game, the colour of the skin of the avatar, if you play first person shooters, you don't really know it anyway, because unless there's a mirror, you're literally looking through their eyes and you have gloves and long sleeve shirts on. Can't really see it. But the colour of the skin of the avatar is re irrelevant to the entire story as a whole, because it's just it's just a dude or a guy or a girl getting on with their job, going from A to B, and you know just doing what needs to be done. This whole skin color thing is irrelevant. And yeah, if anyone goes, oh, would you play a game that had a black person in it? Yes, I wouldn't care about the color of skin on my avatar who I'm playing as. It wouldn't bother me at all. It really wouldn't. But see, that's when the DEI comes in. And having to force a change of original of a creator's original idea, and you obviously know these people are creatively blank or redundant, whichever you want to say, because anything they make themselves are either knockoffs or just absolute crap. The knockoffs that can kind of get a thing around uh, my head around because you know mimicry is the uh, mimicry is the most serious form of flattery. So, but usually it's not very good, and that's kind of the thing. It's the lack of creativity that comes with it. And when there's lack of creativity, and they can't make anything themselves, and this includes anyone, anyone who goes out of a way to change someone else's creation, I don't care which side of the aisle you're on, if you're doing that, you probably lack any creative spark in your own body. You do not change other people's work at all. So that that's just the thing. That's just my thoughts, and what's why I do not like DEI is why I don't like sensitivity readers. I don't like the more bureaucracy and this added business plan. Like you'll make more money if you add this gay person. How does that work? Oh, because gay people buy it. That is the most stereotypical, probably the most homophobic thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, if you put a gay person there, gay people will buy it. Why? Like why? Doesn't really matter if it's good. It's good. And it, any, everyone will buy it if it's good. Everyone who's interested in that genre or that particular media, yeah. But if it's bad and you just want to add a gay person to get people who are gay to buy it, that's probably the most homophobic thing I could think of in the world because you are 
monolith making an entire group of people a monolith and that they all think the same and they won't think outside of it which is disgusting anyway that's my thoughts on DEI uh, this was the video I was going, I've been planning to finish follow up the other one and I'll see you all in the next one and hope you all have a lovely day uh, Monday is again another law video and a rant like always Tuesdays is gonna be I don't know probably something I don't know Tuesdays is also up in the air Wednesdays, law video and rant again, uh, uh, talk. Uh, Thursdays, always going to be a military review. Going on to Mantic now. Going to do Conquest after that, but going on to Mantic next. I'm going to cover, again, single models, and if I can, obviously, their rules. And Fridays, again, just round up discussion of whatever I think needs to be discussed about within the wargaming community. Anyway, thank you very much for watching once more, and I'll see you all in the next one. If you wish to save money on your war gaming, there is Well and Games down below. As if you wish to save money on your Warhammer game, war gaming in general, actually, it's up to twenty percent off and free delivery after twenty pounds. There's Forbidden Planet, but comics geek, oh, that's cool, geeky merchandise. My merchandise as well, my comics, Skyforge, never forget Skyforge, and Patreon, guys, business. Bye bye.